and paying cash directly from Big Pharma, Big Oil, and the big bank executives. More than $100,000. That's not shaking up the Senate. It's deceitful politics as usual. And we won't be fooled. Fair Shake is responsible for the content of this ad. I started losing my teeth. I'm too young for that. Getting dental implants from Dental Implants GPS. It's more than just teeth. I'm very thankful because this really changes a person's life. Call GPS today. Good morning, I'm Frank Buckley. Some breaking news, an LAPD officer recovering after being shot in the hand in the San Fernando Valley this morning. The latest details on what happened just ahead. Good morning, I'm Jennifer McGraw, live here in downtown Los Angeles, where the city is now removing scaffolding from this building to prevent people from getting in and tagging. We'll talk about that coming up. I'm Eric Spoolman. The father of Fulton County District Attorney Fani Wall uh, Willis uh, takes the witness stand in the hearing to decide if Willis will be disqualified from trying the case against former President Trump. The highlights coming up. Good morning, I'm Jessica Holmes. For the second time in the last few months, a passenger flew to LAX without a boarding pass. How it happened, coming up. Good morning, I'm Sam Rubin. New here at 10 o'clock, one of Angelina Jolie's exes talks about life being married to her and what that entails. You'll find that interesting, and this is really interesting. It's arguably one of the best movies out there, the new Bob Marley movie. One of the stars of that film in studio with us live. Good morning, everybody. The time is about 9.59 right now on this Friday, heading into a weekend. And uh, it's going to be a big weekend, hopefully, in Florida with the Daytona 500. But that, uh, on Sunday, there's a lot of rain looking at uh, Florida, so we're going to have some time delays and even a postponement until Monday. Coastal 63, downtown Los Angeles 66. Sapperdown Valley shooting for high of 71. High desert up to 64. Inland Empire 71. Orange County Inland about 69 degrees this afternoon. Jessica, back to you. Mark, thank you. Breaking news from the San Fernando Valley. An LAPD officer has been shot in the hand. Very few details. We do know a suspect was in custody in the 13,200 block of Paxton Street near Herrick. downtown LA this morning. This is the city uh, starts to take action to secure the unfinished development that has recently become a giant canvas for graffiti artists and vandalism. KTLA's Jennifer McGraw live in downtown LA with more for us. Jennifer, good morning. Frank, good morning. This enormous plaza has become home to graffiti artists and of course a public nuisance and also illicit behavior and people are even base jumping off of these buildings. Take a look. This is what the city is doing as crews are working now to remove the scaffolding to prevent people from crawling inside and continuing this behavior. They're hoping to make access that much more difficult to trespassers. Now the three high rises on 12th and Flower are called Oceanwide Plaza. They were supposed to be luxury apartments, but the Chinese developer who owns it ran out of money and stopped construction back in 2019. Over time, the fencing around the plaza has been compromised by vandals gaining access. With the recent criminal activity in those buildings, police have been manning it around the clock. It has put significant strain on the police resources. LAPD has logged more than and 3,000 hours while initially using 80 officers to clear out those three buildings. With the builder bankrupt, the city is now having to retrofit the surroundings to keep people out. Councilman Kevin De Leon, who represents this district, has been in talks with the developer, but with that looming deadline to clean up the building by tomorrow is unlikely. He says right now they're looking for a buyer to take on this nuisance. Clearly, we need someone with the financial wherewithal to not just buy the property as is, which would be conservative estimate, maybe 500 million, 600 million, conservative estimate, assume the legal liens on this development, and then have enough money, a billion dollars plus, to actually finish, complete the construction. 
So that developer has by tomorrow to clean up the building and obviously put the fence up, which again is unlikely. So the city will likely spend up to four million dollars to retrofit the area to make it unaccessible to these trespassers. They're hoping to get that money back when this building, this plaza, is sold. We are live in downtown Los Angeles. Jennifer McGraw, KTLA 5 News. Jennifer, thank you. Developing this morning, two firefighters remain hospitalized in critical condition following an explosion yesterday in Wilmington. All happened near an industrial yard on Alameda Street just before 7 a.m. The explosion came from a compressed natural gas-powered truck that injured nine firefighters. The other injured firefighters were released from the hospital yesterday. One is in stable but critical condition at LA General in the burn center ICU, and the other remains admitted for observation at Harbor UCLA. But we are glad to say that seven of the injured members have been released from the hospital, and they will receive